Robert Mueller. Over the weekend, the special counsel and resistance heartbreaker handed in his long-awaited report on President Trump. But because it hasn't been made public yet, everything we know about the report is from a four-page summary written by William Barr. Now, William Barr is Trump's attorney general and a boring John Goodman. <laughs> but many Democrats <laughs> are saying they're not happy with just the tip. They want the full thing. The calls are growing louder to release the entire Mueller report. In a letter to Attorney General Bill Barr overnight, six House committee chairs demanding Barr release the full findings to Congress no later than April 2nd. Robert Mueller, I think he should sit before the Judiciary Committee in the Senate and he should go as well as to the House. It is absolutely imperative that the Trump administration make that report public as soon as possible. Hey, Bernie, loving the hat. <laughs> this, is, this is really interesting, right? Trump gets accused of colluding, but now Robert Mueller has to spend the rest of his life in hearings. I feel like this always happens with Donald Trump, you know? Everything goes in his favor in a weird way. Like, Mueller investigates him, Trump gets off, and now Mueller has a lifetime of testifying. Stormy Daniels sues him, but ends up having to pay Trump money. I feel like if Melania ever divorces Trump, somehow she'll have to pay alimony. Be like, every month I must pay 100 hamburgers. <laughs> this is not best. <laughs> now, I can understand why the Democrats want the entire report made public, right? Because the attorney general who summarized Mueller's report is Trump's guy. Like, they don't just want to take his word for what the report says. It makes sense, right? It's like asking Michael Jackson's lawyers to recap the documentary. They'd probably be like, ah, uh, it was mostly about how much he loved his fans. Uh, a lot. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so for the Democrats, this is just the beginning. But as far as Trump is concerned, this ends the saddest chapter in American history. When asked by a reporter if Mueller acted honorably, Mr. Trump responding yes, even while blasting the investigation itself. It was a false narrative. It was, it was a terrible thing. Uh... We can never let this happen to another president again. Which is why I won't allow America to have another president ever again, <laughs> folks. I can allow it. No more. No more. By the way, have you ever noticed that Trump is terrible at comforting victims unless it's him? Yeah? Because <laughs> you never hear this level of compassion from Trump about, like, Puerto Rico. Yeah? When that happens, he's like, here's one paper towel. Go long! <laughs> But here, when it's him, he's like, the Mueller investigation was a terrible thing. We're gonna do everything we can to get me back on my feet. <laughs> oh, and, uh, over at Trump TV, they all agree that this was a terrible, terrible thing, and they want revenge. You'd like to believe the people who did this will be held accountable. They hurt our country, they poisoned our public sphere, they distorted our foreign policy, they completely terrified the population. They should be punished. We're going to expose the ringleaders of defamation, the purveyors of political smears, all of whom have proven themselves to be untrustworthy and, frankly, deeply unpatriotic for letting their fanatical hatred of this president override what is best for the American people. My promise to this country from this night forward is we will hold every liar, every propagandist, every conspiracy theorist accountable. This will likely take us months and maybe longer. Whoa, whoa, Sean Hannity pumped the brakes. If you got rid of all the conspiracy theorists, propagandists, and liars, Fox News would just be a bunch of empty couches and a sexual harassment settlement. <laughs> slow down, buddy, slow down. <laughs> and look, and look, I'm not saying nobody on the left got the collusion thing wrong, but these people, these people don't get to say shit about conspiracy theories and political lies. These people... <laughs> no, just no. I mean... I mean, Laura Ingram's website suggested for years that the Clintons have been murdering people, Tucker Carlson pushed the lie about Obamacare death panels, and Sean Hannity is the worst of them all. He speculated repeatedly that a DNC staffer was assassinated as part of a Democratic cover-up. In fact, that man's family had to beg Sean Hannity to stop. So forget glass houses. These people are in a glass mansion with a stone-powered AR-15. And this kind of hypocrisy isn't just coming from Fox News. No, it's also coming from inside the White House.
President Trump's 2020 campaign now going so far as to send this memo to TV producers, listing discredited guests, all Democrats, who pushed, quote, outlandish, false collusion accusations. Now they're making the case um, through both the president and the White House that those Democrats should not be on TV. I think Democrats and the liberal media should be absolutely embarrassed by their behavior over the last two years. It's not just that they reported and spread a slanderous, malicious lie, but they hoped for the takedown of the president of the United States. Yeah, these Democrats should be ashamed. <laughs> they use this investigation to try and take down the president. If you want to take down a president, you do it the right way, by claiming he was born in Kenya. <laughs> this is disgusting. And it's not just Fox News and top officials looking to punish people who said Trump colluded with Russia. No, no, this thirst for vengeance goes all the way to the top. The president expressed vindication and vindictiveness against those who investigated him. Uh, there are a lot of people out there that have done some very, very evil things, very bad things, I would say treasonous things uh, against our country. Those people will certainly be looked at. Wow. <laughs> this is treasonous? And those people will certainly be looked at? AKA, we're gonna come after them? Whew. This president's not playing games. This is, this is why I feel like Trump is lucky that he talks like a toddler, all right? <laughs> no, 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 because it makes his threats easier to dismiss, you know, because of how he speaks. Bad people, so bad, gonna smash them. <laughs> and then everyone's like, no, someone's cranky. <laughs> but you realize if he spoke like an adult, like a Lannister, <laughs> all right, and he held a glass of wine in his hand, I bet a lot more people would be afraid if he came out and he was like, I consider these actions treasonous. <laughs> and mark my words, these people will be looked at... <laughs> bigly.